Hello Java enthusiasts. Today we are tackling a key concept in Java programming that is static methods. Let's unravel the mystery behind these static methods and why they are so important. Let's understand it. What are static methods? Static methods in Java are special methods that belong to a class rather than instance of the class. See, they can be called directly on the class itself only without the need of creating an object. Think of them as a standalone helpers that performs specific tasks. Now, let's try to understand where these static methods are used. Static methods are incredibly used for utility functions, constants, and uh, other operations that don't require access to the instance variables. See, they help keep our code organized, efficient, and of course, easy to maintain. Now, let's see how to define and use a static method. Guys, to define a static method, simply we need to add static keyword before the method declaration. And we can call that method using class name followed by dot and of course, the method name. As simple as this. Okay, let's try to have an example. So, here I'm just trying to have a small method. Let me make it as boolean. Boolean, I'm going to give the method name as is even. Okay, let me just try to make it as a parameterizer method and I'm giving the parameter as int num, okay? And of course, I'm gonna make this method as a static method. Simply just need to write the keyword static, that's it, not more than that. Okay, and now I just want to check whether the given parameter is, I mean, whether the given number is a even number or odd, okay? I'll do one thing. I'll just go with simple if else, a very, very basic if else statement and here I'm going to write if number modulus 2 equal to 0 equal to 0 yes i'm going to simply return true simply return true else return false just like that not more than as a matter of fact actually here there is only one statement right so let me just try to remove this flower braces also just to reduce the lines of code okay now i'm having a method by the way it's a static method now let me go to my main method inside my main method Okay, I'm going to take a variable, local variable, int x equal to 6. Just let me try to give it as 6. And now I want to print it. Okay, let's check it out. System dot out dot print ln. I'm just going to write uh, is plus x. I mean 6. Here is uh, even. Is even. Just a small question mark. And here I'm going to call my static method. You know, as is even method is a static method, no need of creating an object directly. I can call it with the help of my class name and yeah I'm going to give x just like that so without instantiating my class I'm able to directly call my method static method so yeah let's try to execute right click run as Java application is 6 even true let me just try to change uh, I'm going to give one more number let me go like 7 and let's execute we'll be getting an output of course that is false I believe you got an idea about this static method. Remember, static methods should be stateless and not rely on instance variables. See guys, they are perfect for tasks that are independent of object state. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more similar such content. Until next time, happy coding guys.